Hey guys, my name is Brooke and I'm the female foodie and today we're gonna to be talking about the best breakfast restaurants in Seattle. in Seattle we have talked about the best places to eat at Pike Place Market and also the best fish and chips in Seattle so if you haven't had a chance go watch those videos but today we're talking about breakfast because let's be honest it's my favorite meal of the day and I think most people unanimously agree that breakfast is amazing. In this video we're going to be talking about places that cover breakfast so this isn't a brunch coverage video by any means and we're not talking about places that just have brunch on the weekends that's a completely separate um, video in and of itself. So like I said today breakfast can't wait. Let's start from the beginning Okay, the first place on our list for the best breakfast in Seattle is Portage Bay Cafe I like to say that Portage Bay Cafe is kind of like the crowd pleaser of all breakfasts in Seattle because there's a big menu They have a few different locations so you can almost always get in this would be a great place to go if you're like trying to find a place that's good for group dining in Seattle for breakfast um, and they have a big sweet menu, a big savory menu, so there's a little something for everyone. Two recommendations here specifically. First of all, the Eggs Benedict. They have several Eggs Benedict options on the menu, but we recommend the Seattle Benedict. This has, of course, two poached eggs, local Dungeness crab, which is delicious, organic arugula, fresh avocado, fresh hollandaise, and fresh dill. It's basically just the perfect Seattle spin on Eggs Benedict. Got the Seattle Benedict. It's got some crab on it, some avocado, poached egg, uh, it's just some arugula, and some hollandaise. It's very smooth. I really like that. George does too. Remind me of really good roast potatoes from England. I'm sure they don't roast it in duck fat, but it tastes really good. If you like Eggs Benedict and you like seafood, this is the perfect dish for you. The one thing Portage Bay Cafe is known for though is their breakfast bar. So here's how it works. You can get any of the sweet menu items on their menu like French toast or pancakes and that gives you access to the breakfast bar. Breakfast bar has a ton of toppings from like fruits to nuts to gargantuan piles of whipped cream. So we got the French toast. It looks really good. It's just a very basic French toast, but they have a bar over there with like just mounds of fruit and cream. And so I just topped it on with the freshest fruit that I saw there, which was the strawberries and blackberries and a nice healthy piece of whipped cream. Very good. It's nothing new, but it's really good. So if you absolutely love sweet breakfast and you love whipped cream and toppings, this is your place to go. Love Portage Bay Cafe. It's a great crowd pleaser place and the breakfast is really delicious too. Another one of our very favorite breakfast spots in Seattle is the Wandering Goose. The Wandering Goose is in the North Capitol Hill neighborhood and it's definitely one of the more popular restaurants on this list for sure. Um, but they cook southern food here and everything is really good. The service here is fast casual style. It's really friendly. You'll wait in line, place your order, and then sit down and they'll bring the food to you. 
I really like eating here too because they have a great display of delicious desserts. So if you have a sweet tooth, it's really fun to not only be choosing from several of their breakfast items, but you can see so many of their delicious homemade baked goods in their front case as well. They have a lot of enormous cakes. Um, I really do like the Funfetti cake here. It's delicious. If they're making the Funfetti cake while you're there, you should try a slice while you're waiting for your breakfast. I would say that the highlight of the menu here is the biscuits. They're a big deal here. So there's a lot of different things you can get like biscuit sandwiches. There's different specials that have biscuits on them. If you're into grits, you should totally get them here. They're delicious. They serve them with a pan seared pork loin, spicy gravy, and of course the grits. And then they also serve just fantastic, simple biscuits and gravy here too. And then they also have different specials all the time that they're rotating in and out. So we've got some fried chicken, egg, bacon, a little bit of arugula, fried green tomato. This is gonna be a huge bite. I got the tomato in there. Yeah, everyone finds out I'm a candle. Oh, you're a candle. The, uh, the chicken is just perfect. It's got delicious breading on the outside. They actually hit it with a, a little bit more pepper than normal, which I like. The chicken breast is like really, it's moist. It's not dry or chewy. If you love great breakfast, this is definitely worth checking out. The next place that has to be on your radar for the best breakfast in Seattle is Glow's Cafe. I think it's actually just called Glow's. Um, it's in the Capitol Hill neighborhood, again, so really close to the Wandering Goose that we were just talking about, but Glow's is everything you want in the perfect diner. It's low key, it's super down to earth. It's definitely a local spot, but the food here is so good. A lot of people like to talk about how great the coffee cake is here. I personally wasn't a huge fan, I thought it was just very basic and something I could have made better at home myself, but the Eggs Benedict here is so incredible, especially the smoked salmon Benedict. It's served with a smoked Nova Lox grilled tomato and two perfectly poached eggs, and then of course it comes with the homemade hollandaise sauce. It's served over your typical English muffin halves and then with a side of hash browns. So there isn't anything like crazy or super innovative about this Eggs Benedict. It just has incredible flavor and the smoked salmon is really delicious and they do a great job with the Eggs Benedict. The eggs and the hollandaise are perfect. If Eggs Benedict is up your alley and especially if you like smoked salmon, you have to come here. Just a fair warning, Glow's gets crazy busy on the weekend. So if you're going here on a weekend, I'd either recommend you show up right when they open or just catch them on a weekday. Totally worth it. I, I love this place. I love Bakery Nouveau. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this place. It is my favorite bakery in all of Seattle. They have, their original location is actually in West Seattle and they have a couple other locations, Capitol Hill being one of them. Everything that they do is so good from the pizza that they have at lunch to the pastries to the sandwiches. Whatever you get here is gonna be really good, but I know we're talking about breakfast today. The thing that you have to check out here though is the almond croissant. They actually have two different kinds of almond croissants. So they have just their almond croissant and then their chocolate almond croissant. They're both twice baked. It's basically your traditional buttery, flaky, delicious croissant, but then they cut it in half, but then they put simple syrup, almond and cream, chocolate, if you're getting the chocolate one inside, and then they bake it again and dust it with some powdered sugar and it is absolutely fantastic. If you're not like a croissant lover or sweet person, you still should go here because they have some really great grab and go options. They also have really good savory breakfast pastries. The ham and cheese croissant is a great option or the classic butter croissant too. They also have like quiche and delicious egg and sausage breakfast sandwiches. Those I really like too, they're really good. So anyway, this is just, like I said, a great quick stop for breakfast in Seattle. Two thumbs up for Bakery Nouveau. The last place I'm gonna be talking about today on this video about the best breakfast in Seattle is Morsel. Morsel is in the University District. The reason why I love Morsel so much is because the biscuits here are so good. They're actually my favorite biscuits in the entire city. When you get here, you'll notice that the menu is really simple. They have a classic buttermilk biscuits, cheddar chive biscuits, or they usually have like some kind of biscuit special. So I would recommend if you can to get a couple different ones and divide and conquer with a friend. I love the biscuits here because they're the perfect consistency. So they have incredible flavor first and foremost. They're just buttery and delicious, but they're also like really nice and flaky. If you're a biscuit purist, you can just get like the classic buttermilk biscuit with the homemade jam. When I was there, I tried the 
raspberry jam with the biscuit and it was perfect. It had like the seeds and just such great natural raspberry flavor, but of course it was really sweet and delicious and with that and the butter and the biscuit, it was so good. Um, I also definitely recommend one of their sandwiches. I personally am a big fan of the fast break. So this is a biscuit sandwich. I actually used the cheddar and chive biscuit on this sandwich, which I really loved with everything else. It has bacon, scrambled egg, cheddar, and roasted tomato jam. I did feel like the roasted tomato jam kind of overpowered some of the other flavors. So if I were to get this one again, I'd probably just ask for it on the side. Amazing, simple breakfast. And if you're a biscuit lover, you have to come here. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoy trying all these places and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. Ugh.